very exciting now. Our next guest is a champion footballer. She runs her own coffee shop and she's the latest winner of I'm a Celeb. Any clues who that could be? Please be upstanding and give a right royal welcome to our Queen of the Jungle, Jill Scott! <laughs> at all honestly <laughs> but it all seems a bit surreal I was like I just missed November of my life went and lived in a jungle obviously with you Charlene yeah. and then yeah it's just been crazy yeah <laughs> so what has life been like since you got out uh, it's been a bit mad I think the day I got back I went and bought some advent calendars and a bag of frozen chips and it was in the paper <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, OK, this is a great story. So, yeah, there's been a lot of people watch the show. I don't think you realise how many people yeah. actually watch mm -hmm. it, but really nice, like, coming up, saying well yeah. done. Um, yeah. And you were on billboards as well, weren't oh. you? We were talking about that, weren't we, in Australia, that someone had texted you and said that they'd had billboards with your face up because so many people back home were supporting Yeah, you. I think the people of Sunderland, I think there was a message on the motorway, so hopefully it didn't distract oh. people <laughs> from driving. But, um, yeah, the support's been so good. Like, I actually just... I, I can't believe it all, to be honest, but really? it was a great... Um, just such a good journey, really. We had fun, mm. We did we? have fun, we did. And what a lot of people won't realise is I was plaiting your hair through a lot of it, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when you left, um, my mum said, actually, when I got back, she went, when Charlene left in Scarlet, your hair went terrible. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> You can always come. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. Just to bring you back. To <laughs> always, yeah. always. And what was lovely is um, is Shelley, your fiance, is in the audience today, yeah. and Shelley and I got really close because, of course, I came out early, so we like spent a week together. I have to say, I can't go shopping with Shelley again. I'll literally have no money left. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's a brilliant. She's brilliant to shop with, but I did pair back by. I plaited your hair as well, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. I think it lasted the whole week as well. So there you go. There you go. Uh, got was, it, was, it hard, was it really hard for you? there because you just seem to take it all and you like I never saw a moment where you were you know angry or you just seem to love it yeah I think like being part of a team and obviously going on England camps for the past 16 years I think sometimes when you're in something you just have that mindset where you have to be in it so I kind of did get kind of did use that a lot when I was in there but it was difficult all right was and difficult. I, I think the most difficult moment for you was when you got a cockroach stuck in each <laughs> ear yeah my worst yeah. so yeah. all I remember is you sort of going no no there's something in there there's something in there and then they tried for ages to get it out. Yeah. Chris ran over to hold your hand because we were all really panicked for you. And then Jill sat back down with all of us and then suddenly she went, no, no, there's one in the other ear, there's one oh. in the other ear. Yeah. And then he had to go through the whole process. I think that's the only moment, I think, I saw you get slightly panicked because yeah. it was pretty scary. Yeah, because I was in the trial and I could feel it, like, crawling. Oh. I, was going, I think I've got a cockroach in my ear. They were no. like, the medics are on hand. And I was like, what does that mean? Is it going to help or anything? But, um, yeah, they managed to get it out eventually. Yeah. Well, I think so. I can't really hear you very well. There might be another one. <laughs> <laughs> they won't let you put anything in your ears, will they? No. Like, it really stresses, that really stressed me out. I don't yeah. like that. Mm. Now, well, I've got to ask you, Matt Hancock. Oh. <laughs> in the papers today, it says that he's left the WhatsApp group. Oh, I can't really? prize it out of Charlene. <laughs> so I'm asking, have you been in contact with Matt? Um, I actually haven't since the show, but um, I think everybody... Like, my knowledge of politics isn't actually yeah. that good. So once we got into the jungle, everyone puts the jungle outfits yeah. on. It was just like, look, we're one team. Yeah. He was going and getting the stars. He was feeding us. So I, yeah. I was, I was yeah. happy, I'll really. With that, yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't had a message off him yet, so <laughs> that's the truth. Maybe he'll be sending you a copy of his book. Oh, yeah, he's got a book maybe. out, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Did he mention that? I don't think he mentioned Or it. maybe it's because you're a winner and he's a loser. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, there was, there was there were so many bits as you and I know that weren't that weren't shown. And one of the I think one of the most beautiful moments for us as campmates was you and Owen created the the Jungle Eleven. Oh yeah. And he gave us all oh, our positions on the football field. Yeah. And what was amazing is Jill and Owen made football shirts out of origami using the bags that our rice and beans would come in. And we all had our own little shirts with our names on that you wrote using charcoal from the fire yeah. and our numbers on. And it was that was the kind of attention to detail to give us a great camp experience that you both gave us, which was amazing. Yeah, I think because there was... Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> 
because there was 11 of us in camp, like, straight away, I was like, we've got a football team, and I joked with Owen when I got to... Me and him were in the RV for five nights. I said, the amount of girls that would have wanted to be in here with <laughs> Oh, yeah! That <laughs> went out on telly. <laughs> 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 it was like, and we're discussing our best 11 Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll give all the campmates a little shirt. You were playing centre-half with... I was, Owen, behind yeah. Mike, yeah. And um, Boy George had told us a story about how football had never really accepted him when he was younger, so we made him captain and was Aww. like, we want you to fall in love with football again, but he was just like, all right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in our WhatsApp group, he did say he did watch the game the other night, yeah, didn't he? he? Did, yeah, he did. that was inspired by you. He did, so he loves football again. There was, yeah. there was one moment in there that caught all of our attention. Should we have a look at that one? Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> all you have to do, you just um, like that one. tell uh -huh. when the uh, loose women's on, uh -huh. that you have to turn it off because you can't stand the man there. So one time I was watching loose women and the topics were, like, so depressing and I just felt like everyone was mourning. I think they need to pick the, the positive people. <laughs> <laughs> she is not taking me up on this one bit, and rightfully so as well. Are you offended that one episode I... Uh, might have switched over if it was I am a bit offended. Mm. I feel I feel terrible. Can I make you a cup of tea as a as a sorry? <laughs> 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 I felt terrible. <laughs> so much to get the words out and I was like oh okay that, oh. that's fine you're an athlete and then they called us into the like bush telegraph and said right uh, you have to tell her again so I had to tell her <laughs> twice and <laughs> oh, one, no. one thing in sport is like you have to be able to have difficult conversations and it's one thing I've never been too good at because <laughs> I do like people to be happy yeah. and keep people happy and I hated that moment. Why are you, like, where are you offended? Because at one no. point you went... <laughs> no, because it, it, no, it was the second time she'd done it, and I was thinking... Oh, wait. All right. Yeah, you're you're right. Point. It was like twice in 20 minutes she was telling me how much she didn't like this episode. Oh. Of this. And I was like, all right. She did my hair later that day and was like... <laughs> 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 now, I don't know about you, but the one thing that loads of people have spoken to me about is us being on that ledge, and people always oh, ask, wow. how on earth you managed it? Yeah. Heights you are so afraid of. Yeah. How on earth, with such speed, did you oh. get to the end? You were amazing. You were amazing. And I think you were stuck for ages, and Babatunde tried to go, and I was like, if I don't go, what is going to happen to Charlie? <laughs> so I think it just went into, like, sport mindset of just going to help kind of a teammate and... Yeah, managed to do it. But I did speak about that. I said, like, sport for kids is so good because it's not about playing at the highest level, but just, like, learning to have that mindset, yeah. winning, losing, like, yeah. the amount of things it helps you with for life in general. I just think, like, there was times in the jungle I had to revert kind of back to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I've yeah. got to ask you, I know Prince William is a big fan of yours, <laughs> isn't he? Yeah, well, I've met him a few times over the years. I, I always tell the story that... I slide tackled him at the opening <laughs> of an event and, and wiped him out. And then he's kind of remembered that all the time. But <laughs> just before I came into the jungle, he um, hand wrote us a letter, like, about saying about my retirement and everything. So that's, like, my most treasured kind Aww. of item. Now, yeah. You've got a coffee shop, haven't you? Yeah, I want him to come. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say. We've got uh, loose women mugs. You want to get a Prince William, get your own... Coffee mark yes, for him, yeah, get him up there. Definitely. I did actually give um, his driver a box to box um, coffee cup. Mm. So I was like, I wonder if the future king is having a cup of tea. Of course he is. Of course, course he is. He is. Yeah. In my head, he is. <laughs> so what, what, what happens now? Because you're off to Qatar at the end of the week, aren't you? And yeah. then what is the plan? I don't have one. This is the thing. Like, I just go from like day to day with life. And then when I retired, I was like, what am I actually going to do? Um, so. If, they, if you can keep this seat for yeah, it, definitely. Oh, cool. yeah. 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 Especially for you. Well, we'll have you on any time. Yeah. Your sister's a yeah. massive fan, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, massive fan, and I know they'll be watching now. She gets into London at 2 o'clock, so she's just missed it. So oh. I'll definitely have to come back and yeah. bring out the audience. You definitely have to come back. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, can we give our Queen of the Jungle a massive <laughs>